right, guys, this is a good sign. Hardly anything left on the bench. Well, starting with my projects. Finally put my projects on the bench. Today, got a few things, like an oil plate cover, still to do. So I gotta put the deep sump on and the heartbeat of the engine, the oil pump. That's what we're gonna focus on today. So hang tight. So there's where your, your oil pump's gonna go. Um, kind of peek around in there, you can see uh, where I got it plugged. Along with this one's plugged because uh, we're running full flow oil system. Um, I got these studs on here. These are just temporary. Um, CB gives you these bolts to put on there, so normally there would be four oil pump studs, but when you remove the studs, there's, there's no way to, to line this up. And when you get this in here, it's kind of a press fit, and there's, you're, there's, it's almost impossible to give it a little turn. Like right now, I'm sticking it in there 180 degrees off. <laughs> but it'll go this way. Plus, you're going to have a gasket here, and it's going to be easier to line the gasket up when you got these studs. I've uh, done this without doing this trick, but it's it's tricky. All right, so uh, first thing we're going to do is get some sealing on this uh, this gasket, and then we're going to install the oil pump. So we got our favorite ultra black gasket maker sealant, and again, kind of like I've done in other cases. Thought it was coming out. There we go. We just need a little bit and we're just going to rub it into the gasket. Doesn't take much. We're just going to dress the gasket. It's uh, rubbed in really good on both sides. So a little bit goes a long ways, and then we're going to try to coat the, uh, the edges a little bit. And go and stick around the engine. Everything a gasket or sealant does, or the Permatex does, it will help keep it in place. Not much uh, prep work. We're done all the prep work on the oil pump. Make sure it's clean. And now we just got to kind of easily put it in the case. Make sure it's in the right direction. You can see the uh, the cam or. The drive shaft that goes out through one, one of the pump gears into the cam. So you get to uh, make sure, I like to peek down in there, make sure you can see. But I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. Yep, that's it. And there's that. You get that started nicely. Now I need a uh, mallet and a uh, 2x4. Soft 2x4 would be good. You can find those. All right, now that we've got our handy dandy tools, I'm always prepared, aren't I? At least I look for everything. Um, we're just going to lightly uh, tap this in place, send it home. All right, now that that's done, um, we can remove the studs, um, get some grease, get the gears, um, and one more gasket, and then install the cover. So uh, let's go find those. <laughs> I think if it looked like that, I'd have a problem. Um, 
But this is some grease I, I've had. I've got a pail, pail of it. Uh, I'm just going to stick some of this in the pump. Um, you can see we got the studs removed. Uh, those studs are just something that I uh, removed off engines or transmissions throughout the year. Uh, one might have just been an automotive stud. Um, nothing fancy. Um, they help really help with lining up the, uh, the oil pump. But uh, the grease here is going to help with a little bit of suction from um, when it's the first startup. Uh, it's going to help suck the oil from the oil pan up into the oil pump to get it circulating through the engine. It just speeds the process up. So let's get to playing with the grease. When you do this, you try not to get it around the uh, ceiling surface. If you do get some on there, you're going to want to clean it before you put the gasket on. But uh, a little bit goes a long ways again. Um, now we got to get the gears, wipe these off. All right, here's the gears. Um, they got some timing marks on there. Honestly, I don't really know how important those are to line up. I usually just stick them by each other. But you can see one's uh, hollow and one's got a shaft in it. So they do, they do have to go in a certain way. So I usually stick this, this one in first because it's one that's got to um, hook into the, the cam. You gotta clock it with the cam, cam gear. You gotta find its home. Find your home, come on. There we are, there's the home. Now this one will just go in on the, there you can see there's a shaft in there. I'll just go in on the shaft. Trying to keep that timing gear marked in location with the other one. Just as easy as one, two, three. Now to get a rag and clean some stuff up. All right, now we're back to the uh, gasket treatment. Now this one, this gasket's very, very thin. So you have to be very, very careful. Not to tear it. So honestly, this gasket's a little different shape than I'm used to seeing because this is a CB pump. Most of the ceratic pumps don't don't have this shape. They're the same as uh, comes in like your gasket kits. They probably still work. This one's just got a little more uh, ceiling surface on it, but this is a gasket kit. Here's your towers. Here's your uh, oil pump gasket that we just put on. And this is a thinner one. This would be the like this one. It's just missing uh, this whole inside deal. They actually have um, two two styles of gaskets in there. This is your uh, six millimeter stud gasket. It comes in the gasket kit. This is for your like your 1200 cc engines. But let's get to dressing. Like I said, this one can take a little more time. It's thinner. Don't want to tear nothing. You can see I didn't use a whole lot of silicone on there. Doesn't take much. It spreads out real nicely. Now that's getting real sticky. Got to be even more extra cautious not to rip anything. Now let's see if it'll stick on the oil pump. It's stuck on you. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could have left those studs in there <laughs> until I got the uh, pump cover on. To be perfectly honest with you, this is the first time I've tried the stud trick. Because it would have helped line this gasket up too. But um, 
looks like it's going to stay there so let's not waste too much time and let's get the pump cover and the bolts all right here's the uh pump cover you probably recognize it from an earlier video and the mounting hardware i am going to treat these just for sealing purposes with a little bit of loctite that way no oil will make it past the threads The old stock uh, oil pumps had a special nut that had like, a, well, like your nylon lockers nowadays. Um, this had a material on it that was supposed to be like a sealing material. I don't know how important it is, but uh, apparently CB Performance didn't think it's that important because this is what they supplied in their kit. Now to make sure we get this facing the right direction, um, I know that slot matches this slot, so it's kind of easy not to get this one messed up. But <laughs> some of the other, other styles, <laughs> you could probably hang this backwards. Now to get the tools, and I think I'm going to torque these down. Uh, so I need a torque wrench, uh, an Allen wrench, and a ratchet set. Um, really prepared today. Now for the uh, tightening down process. I unfortunately uh, don't have an adapter for my tool so they can run the uh, torque wrench. So I'm just going to have to make them tight. You want them tight, but not too tight. If I was to torque them, I'd probably torque them to 15 to 18 foot-pounds, somewhere down in that area. All right, one other thing to do is uh, give the engine a full revolution, actually maybe two full revolutions, um, just to make sure everything spins around and you don't feel any binding. But if you don't feel any binding, uh, you're good to move on to the next step. Uh, like I said, our next step is gonna be the uh, installing the sump. All right, so we're gonna close out here uh, with the grease pump for today. That's all we're gonna do today. Um, the camera on the the battery in the main camera died on me, so I'm going to close out with the GoPro because um, I'm done. The only sense in going to get the other battery. But uh, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, joining me today. Uh, hopefully, this was a quick and uh, understandable uh, tech tip. Um, and in, in the next step to come is, like I said, going to be the uh, oil sump, deep sump here, and show you something what I, that I like to do when I install these and makes it a little easier on everybody, especially if you got the newer style sump. Um, when I get to there, I'll point out uh, that I'm actually using the older style sump. So it's just a little harder to get the tools in. Um, but until then, uh, be safe, keep the flat side down and the shiny side up. Kick it!